Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. We go over different EMS topics every single week and today we're going to be going over the EMS mnemonic D chart. D-chart is a mnemonic that is intended to serve as a guide while completing a patient care report. If you're in EMS or going into EMS, you've probably become aware of the D-chart method whenever writing a narrative. There's also a method called SOAP, which we'll go over in a future video. So let's go over what D-chart actually stands for. D stands for dispatch. So this can include the information that dispatch gave you on the way to the call, or it can include um, if you went emergent, non-emergent to the call, the nature of the call, etc. C stands for chief complaint. So why did the patient actually call 911? If the patient is unconscious or not verbal, why did bystanders feel the need to call 911 for this patient? H stands for history. And history is a great place for you to put your other mnemonics like sample, OPQRST, and other mnemonics that may help you remember all the information necessary to gather in the history portion. And assessment is just like it sounds. It's assessing your patient, checking your ABCs, doing a head-to-toe examination, identifying the patient's chief complaint and looking further into it and just documenting all the things that you note during the assessment. And R stands for treatment. So did you give this patient oxygen? Did you start an IV? Did you give them a medication? Basically everything that you did to treat this patient. And T stands for transport or transfer of care. So what happened during transport? Uh, did you go emergent or non-emergent? Um, was there any patient improvement, etc. And E stands for exceptions. And I'm going to be really honest, I rarely use the E part of D chart, but this is just for basically anything that doesn't fit into the other categories, like weather conditions, uh, traffic conditions, things like that. I definitely want to make a video in the future going over D-chart in a more thorough manner because today we just went over what each section stands for, but I would like to do like a sample narrative and, you know, kind of give you guys a better idea of how to utilize D-chart. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.